Quick thinking. Hey guys, it's me, Armal Sarx, and I feel like we have to talk about these things, the Victory Day event vehicle reward whatever SBAAs and if you're still grinding these obviously they are really really cool as collectibles the Flachpanzer 1 and and the Gaz MM 72k platform they are really really cool uh, as collectibles but there's probably a few things that you need to know if you don't have them um, and you're still trying to get these they aren't great um as i said as collectibles it's cool to have them in your armies uh but like for the purpose they're built let's look at them as spa self-propelled anti-air craft weapon platforms right the gas mm like it has seven rounds in a clip, which you can see, I believe this thing here is like the clip you load and then goes pow, 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 pow. 25 mil um, auto cannon fires AP type shells and HE type shells, um, which doesn't really kill planes. I suppose the HE didn't work at all. And then uh, at some point I just went to, to, to AP and it kind of did damage. So the upside about this thing is that it has four crewmen which if these two guys get evaporated you still have two which is cool uh, already a victory over flak panzer and that this 25 mil with the ap shells can actually take out tanks um i don't want to say too reliably but if you know where you shoot them then 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 it'll definitely take out tanks so this thing serves some sort of purpose shoot down planes no we can destroy tanks yeah if you know where to shoot infantry uh, maybe not the easiest gun to aim long range down at infantry uh but you'll probably kill more infantrymen than planes in this thing again uh you can be knocked out the whole crew can be knocked out from like bombs or rt blasts but uh, there are still chances of vehicles surviving so if you spawn another squad and run back to the old spot you can still use this thing but anything else as as you think you're gonna go and boss all planes down the sky it's not gonna happen trust me it's not gonna happen um tank destroyer or like i don't know weird auto cannon um infantry fighting vehicle that's about it on the gas what about flak panzer so i had my hopes up because uh, i originally come from war thunder background and these are usually absolute nemesis in the game and um uh, i didn't take out any tanks i was probably a bit too far range for like i had a bt7 or something side on that did not he was literally side on and this did not pan Too far to pen a BT5. It kind of does damage. It kind of penned and did some damage, but it was a really long range. But felt like, and this is a 20 mil as well. Uh, felt like the gas works much more reliably against tanks. This thing does have 20 rounds in the mag or the clip, or I don't. Oh, there, there we go. It's a side-mounted uh, mag here, and because it's smaller um, caliber, it goes much more quicker. For example, the gas goes pow, 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 where this goes brr more like that uh, and you'll run through the 20 rounds very quickly it does not carry like if you think that's a lot of ammo then uh, you'll chew through that extremely quickly um, because of its quicker fire rate uh, this is actually not too bad of sawing down enemy infantry uh, i was shooting planes biplanes and um, some il 2s and things like that uh, even when you do hit there's like a puff of smoke and nothing really happens to the plane so i did struggle to get plane kills with this but due to the higher fire rate i would imagine this should technically be better than the gas although with the gas i actually killed some planes uh again it wasn't ideal by any chance and this isn't either so at uh, a big downside of this thing it has two crewmen right like one sitting up here one sitting in here 
this gets sniped you're left with the driver that's it uh, if you get back into the gunner's seat with the driver that's it you're not moving anymore uh, same as the gas uh, milk truck uh, the crew can be knocked out without vehicle being damaged so if you spawn the next squad, you can just run back to your old position and just grab this thing uh, unless it's actually destroyed. But it's poor at what it was designed to do. Shooting down planes, not ideal. Uh, sewing through infantry, actually, yeah, you can probably take this as almost as a viable strategy. Uh, just make sure it's a long range so they can't snipe you. And then planes, I guess, just if you get lucky. And 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 that's it. That's the victory day events. Um, seemingly, like this was hyped up as cool things and all that stuff. But uh, oh hi. Uh, but yeah, rather disappointed uh, in these um, event vehicles. I want to say event, yeah, vehicles. Uh, cool as collectibles. Well, I suppose not. Not everyone's gonna have them, so you can just go around flexing, saying, "Yeah, I have this." But don't worry, if you don't, you are definitely not missing out. Just wanted to put out my thoughts about these vehicles. Obviously, the Pacific Campaign um, allies, Americans have SPAA, and the uh, Japanese in Pacific has an SPAA. Soviets and Germans were lacking self-propelled anti-aircraft destroying platforms, and now we do have them, at least on the paper. Obviously, they cannot be compared to M13 or the Japanese, whatever it was called, Soki or whatever, uh, those two uh, blows these out of water so far. Um, but yeah, I guess you can say every nation now has a self-propelled anti-aircraft destroying platform. But yeah, these two lack behind so, so, so far. <laughs> Rather disappointing. Uh, let me know your thoughts about these two vehicles, what you think. Uh, I'm really interested on this one in your uh, comments um, down below. I'll be definitely reading those. And yeah, just uh, just a little uh, talky head with you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.